Hi boys and girls. Our book for today is Nesting by Henry Cole. And we borrow this book from the Central Skagit Library. It is an early spring morning. The ground is covered with frost. From the branch of an apple tree, a robin starts to sing. His song tells other male robins, stay away, but a female hears his song too. Here I am, he sings. The two robins explore. One spot looks perfect. Together they gather dry grass and small twigs. They begin to build a nest. The nest is finished. It is perfect. It is just the right size and shape. The mother robin settles into it and sits quietly. She lays an egg. It is smooth and blue. She lays three more. Four is perfect. She keeps the eggs warm. She is patient. Inside each egg, a baby bird is growing. The egg begins to hatch, one by one. The babies have no feathers. They are blind and defenseless. And very hungry. A juicy caterpillar is a perfect meal for baby robins. So is a soft worm. One afternoon, a storm comes. The wind blows and rain pours. The babies are kept safe. The storm passes. Day after day, the babies need more food. The parents make many, many trips. Down below, a snake sees the robin's nest. The snake is hungry too and climbs the apple tree. The robins fight back. They dive and swoop. They don't give up until they drive the snake away. The young robins have grown bigger and bigger. They fill up the nest. They have feathers now, just right for flying. One by one they leave the nest. They flap and flap and drop to the ground. Soon they grow strong and can feed themselves. Their wings take them anywhere they want to go. It is late summer now and the days are shorter. The robins eat berries and grow fat. Now they can survive a cold winter. They gather to spend the winter months together. The old nest is covered with snow. A new nest will take its place when spring comes again. And here's some important information about robins. All right, boys and girls, we hope you enjoyed that book. Have a great day.